Welcome back to the Arise News Hour. I'm Charles Zanyagulu in London. Let's turn our attention to the world of business, trying to kick the habit. We told you earlier about the US plan to help wean Europe off Russian fossil fuels. But will the proposals make any difference? And preferred bidders emerge to buy England's Chelsea Football Club with its Russian owner under heavy Western sanctions. How will the fans respond to a new owner, one most likely from the US? Well, here to discuss these stories is Arise correspondent, Laurie Laird. Good to see you, Laurie. Charles. So the US says it can help Europe end its reliance on natural gas. But do the figures add up? Charles, the figures don't come anywhere close to adding up. And I'm a little bit surprised that this story has headlined so many newspapers going into tomorrow, headlined so many news broadcasts. America has said that somehow, hasn't given us the details, somehow it's going to get an extra 15 billion cubic feet of gas to Europe. 15 billion, it sounds like a lot, right? Except for Russia is current supp currently supplying about 168 billion this is not a drop in the bucket over states how much oil or how much gas this is furthermore where is this gas coming from nobody is telling us is it coming from the u.s does the u.s have that kind of spare capacity is the u.s going to try and strong arm other gas producers to get this extra stuff in there not clear at all the next step is that german Gas buyers are going to meet American shippers sometime next week in Berlin. They're going to work out the details. This is not even, a, this is barely a plan, Charles. It's much more symbolic than anything else. But this plan, let's call it that, okay, let's moment, stretch it. by the U.S., would certainly speed up the process of Europe weeding itself of dependence on Russian and, gas. And that's it? exactly what the politicians mm. are saying. This is a first step to get uh, the EU, particularly Germany, off this Russian gas. How do you do it, though? There mm. is not that much capacity. You simply can't just start prospecting for gas. There are a lot of capacity constraints. It takes a while to get this stuff out of the ground. Once it gets out of the ground, what do you do with it then? Are there pipelines? going to where you want this gas to go? In many cases, no. Then you have to put it into a liquid form and ship it. It needs to be regasified mm -hmm. on the other side. So there's a lot of infrastructure right. that is needed to make this work. So Again, we're going to have to keep a close eye on that one. It, the, uh, For a long time, Charles. Right. This, this is a five-year plan sure. at best. Okay, let's turn to Chelsea, the football club, England uh, football club. Preferred bidders emerging to buy it you know, the owner under heavy Western sanctions, how will fans respond to a new owner? Well, I understand there's a possibility of an American. It, it looks very much like it will be an American group. There are two private equity groups that have been named preferred bidders. Both are involved with sports. One group owns the LA Dodgers baseball team. The other owns the 76ers basketball team. The second group also has a stake in Crystal Palace, which is a Premier League team. They'll have to divest that. But we haven't seen fans in the UK be particularly happy when private equity owners take over these clubs. They tend to regard the private equity owners as cost cutters. This is not what a football fan wants. A football fan wants Roman Abradovich, who owned Chelsea for so many years and spent a fortune on acquiring talent. So this may not be a popular move. Laurie, thanks very much indeed. Laurie uh, Laird, our eyes correspondent there.